what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to by reacts back in the house um i didn't exactly took any days off i just didn't get time to record anything between tuesday until um tonight so you guys will have these reaction for thursday okay so don't sweat we are back and I'm in the mix and I'm ready to go. But one thing I want to address before I go is that um, my mic, my mic, my volume, a lot of, you know, a lot of people in the past few days, I don't know if it was a video specifically, but if you are watching this, I have adjusted, try to adjust, try to keep the mic. I do not like to be close to the mic a lot of times. A lot of times I lean back in my chair and I might lean, you get what I'm saying, lean away from the mic. So what I'm going to start doing is to make, to try to get it in my mind to stop doing that. Because a lot of times what I do is I get so comfortable and I start talking at my normal voice level, which is my normal voice level is not this that you hear me talking right now. My normal voice level is like this. Um, I'll talk to people like this. So... Sometimes I regress back into talking like this instead of projecting my voice for the mic, right? So a lot of times when you when I get relaxed, if I'm watching a TV show, if, if I'm, you know, watching whatever, whatever I'm watching, if I'm doing a reaction, I'm watching something, right? So a lot of times I get so relaxed, I start talking as if I'm talking to, you know, someone like sitting right next to me. So it's kind of like a lot of times... I don't always project my voice the way I want to project my voice. So I might, my voice might get a little bit lower on the thing or during the reaction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the video volume down because I used to have that. I think I had that a little bit too high in my reactions. Okay. So I'm going to turn that down so that, um, and I'm going to turn my voice up a little bit. I'm going to turn the mic up. Okay. So. Thank you guys so much. Now that that's off, we're going to go watch this episode, okay? Last episode, you already saw my reaction to it, man. That was one of the... It was a hard one to get through. Actually made me extremely mad because imagine these guys, they go they go to war, you know, World War II or whatever. And, and then, um, and then, you know, and then now we, we're back again basically at the same place you know what i mean like we're basically at the same place again you know from last time but Bet between that time but between the last time i did the reaction right between the last time i did the reaction and between now right between that time guys i'm talking about in a week span this happened probably, I think it's like two days ago this happened, where a cop went into, um, not even went into, she, he shot this lady in her house, in her house, through the window, through the window. This lady is standing there. This, this cop did not identify himself, did not say he was a cop going to the lady's backyard, you know, somebody called somebody called the police um because they saw the lady's door cracked open a little bit so they thought maybe somebody broke into the house or the person was in danger and they called the police and police did not follow proper procedure when approaching this situation and saw the person in the house right saw the person in the house you know tell the person to put their hands up or whatever and then just shot the person. This was a y young lady. Her nephew was in the house. Was in the house. Little boy. In the house. Right? And you don't even have to ask. This is a person. You know. It, it. The person is black. Like you don't have to ask. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're dealing with today. You know. And this is. And, and I tell people. I say. I'm not looking at this. As a race thing. I'm looking at this because cops are really incompetent. I don't know what's the training they're getting, 
But this is the, I mean, last week you heard, you heard, guys, you heard me talk about the situation of the light sentencing and the stuff, the, the, the stuff that happened with this, with this lady that went into the wrong apartment thinking that it was hers, which is, I think is an absolutely poor excuse and shot this guy inside of his apartment because she felt threatened after she walked into the wrong apartment and didn't realize what she was doing killed the dude and she only got 10 years and they were all hugging her in court and all of this other stuff and it was like how devastating it could it could it's it's so devastating for her she's crying in her testimony and all this other stuff i'm talking about a week pretty much a week later from her sentencing another incident like this happens where where somebody gets killed inside their home by a police officer I, I don't want to talk about it anyways man let's jump into this reaction man i've wasted enough time i've been here sitting down talking for damn 12 minutes about this damn thing i'm gonna have to cut it up anyways man let's go watch this episode let's go watch this episode Okay, so that episode was, I want to say, very relaxing. And the reason why I'm saying relaxing is not necessarily because it wasn't showing or doing a good job of depicting the war. Um, it was a very serious episode. I think it's the first episode that we lost a lot of men. But I was... I don't know. I was unusually calm because I couldn't respond to some of the stuff that was that was there. Not necessarily relate, but I couldn't respond to it because it was like I don't in no way, shape or form am I saying, you know, I'm desensitized to it because you guys see my face and stuff. It's just that I was able to to relax and watch you get what i'm saying because i have a greater appreciation for what these guys did you know what i'm saying just through watching this series so like i came in understanding you know what i'm saying with a with a more comprehensive way of thinking that caused me to just relax and just understand the sacrifice you know what i mean Hmm. it's tough because as i said at the end of the video there you know what i'm saying like when i watch this show the only thing i can think of is what these guys fought for and the stupid things that people in this country argue over and make a big deal off you know There are certain human rights that, you know, we need to understand and agree upon, you know, and we can't even seem to get that down. We can't even seem to to understand that. I've always told people, I said, listen, this is not a black or white thing. It's not a race thing. It's not a, you know... It's just not a race thing. It, it, you know what I'm saying? When it comes on to color of skin or way of life, it's a human thing. If I can't love you just because you're another human being, I am completely forgetting or ignoring, I should say, the whole spectrum of everything. We are here on this earth to love each other until we leave this earth. But people just cannot understand the simplicity behind that. You get what I'm saying? The simplicity, they just, they don't get it. They don't get it. They don't understand it. A lot of times when I talk to people, other black people, and they just can't seem to understand when I say this is not a black or white thing. Other people may may 
make it that way does not mean that I have to respond in kind with the same energy. And that's what people don't understand. The whole purpose of turning the other cheek is that exact thing. If somebody choose to be racist towards you, it does not mean that you have to turn around and be racist towards them. You still have a choice and you can still choose to love that person. And to just to watch this show and see what these these men went through and what they had to see, what they had to witness, the the situation that they had to be in. Is is just it's tough, man. It's tough. And I don't I'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like it's it's okay about a, a lot of things that's going on in the in the world right now and a lot of people you know as i said man it's not it's not an easy subject for me to talk about it's hard it's hard to find words to comment on this stuff because the only as i said the, the things that i think of when i watch it when i'm watching this show is just the ridiculous stuff that is going on today. You know, we've been people has come and gone that have been trying to unite people for the longest and we still cannot get it. You know, you know, some people will say at the end of the day, there's always going to be bad people. There's always going to be good people. And I, I, I understand. I do. But is there a problem with me wanting us to be better? Wanting us to be more than what we are showing today? You know, we get we get upset at things. You know, we get upset. It just you know, it just boggles my mind, man. <laughs> you know, so as I said, man, it, it's tough. This was a great episode of Band of Brothers. Um, sometimes, you know, this stuff is like a wake up call. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we we can do better, man. We can. We can love better. We can love more. You know, and I don't want to sit here and sound like a tree hugger. or <laughs> You know what I mean? Or something of the sort, but the basis of everything is love and is love versus hate. You know, at the core of it all, is one or the other that starts something. You know. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I I don't want to make you guys you know depressed. I'm just kind of talking to you guys right now. I don't want you guys to feel I'm just trying to uplift myself and you guys let you understand that you can go out there and we can go out there and we can do better. We can show people love when they choose not to show us love, you know, and it's very easy to get upset in those moments, you know, very easy to get upset in those moments and not show love. But we're here and we go we we, we going to do better. Even just from this small community here, we gonna try to do better. Okay, so thank you guys so much again for tuning in and to watch my reaction, man. Hope you guys enjoyed, you know, watching this with me. It was great. It was a great episode, man. I'm glad that um, our guy got promoted. We lost some good ones too. And also, um some people just don't need to be on the battlefield. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know why they took so long to took him out to take him out, you know. 
could have saved the, you know, could have saved some people, man. But anyways, um, I'm gonna clock out for now. I'll see you guys for the next episode, episode eight. We have three episodes left, man. I really not necessarily in a rush to finish this series. I know you guys probably saying, why is he doing it on a weekly? Sometimes you'll get two episodes per week. Sometimes, you know, I was supposed to do this earlier in the week, but um, I had some other stuff I had to take care of. So I basically was out for the past couple of days. <laughs> Thank you guys, man. Remember to subscribe if you're new. Leave a like and also leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this episode the first time you saw it. And I will see you guys next time. Terabyte Reacts. Peace.